हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो वेयर आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दी कोर्स कंटेंट्स एंड कोर्स आउटकम दिस कोर्स व्हिच इज कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर दिस इज बीइंग इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर द सेकंड ईयर स्टूडेंट्स mostly for the second year students of computer science and engineering csc ai csc data science csc iot so this is a common course for all the students the prerequisite for this particular course is before learning the concept of computer organization and architecture you should have the basic knowledge about the functional unit of a computer system This video lecture series will provide you the in-depth knowledge of internal working, structuring, and implementation of the computer system. These videos are prepared to help beginners and professionals also. Let me tell you one basic point. You can see two things in this particular topic. One is the computer organization, and the second is the computer architecture. there is a difference between these two things how to understand it how to define it you can understand you can define the computer organization is how operational parts of a computer system are linked together while computer architecture you can understand it's a kind of blueprint for the design and implementation of a computer system or in a simpler way you can say you can state that computer organization explains how a computer works while computer architecture explains what a computer should do so this is about the basic difference between two terms computer organization and computer architecture let us discuss about the course content upon which you will be observing the upcoming videos means what are the contents i am going to cover in this particular lecture series let us begin first unit is about the introduction introduction means basics about the digital system you are going to study about the elements of digital computers interconnections buses what is bus how many types of buses are there there are basically three types of buses address bus data bus and control bus how these buses are interconnected what is register what is register organization stack organization and addressing modes what do you understand by addressing modes how many types of addressing modes are there and i'll be explaining you by giving one example so this is how all these contents i'll be covering in unit number 1 and the course outcome for unit number 1 is study of basic structure and operation of a digital computer system second unit is about the arithmetic and logic unit here you will find a number of block diagrams so you have to explain it in detail sometimes numericals also so first i'll be telling you about the adder which is look ahead carries adder then multiplication sign operand booth's algorithm which is very very important booth's algorithm has a application in almost every field so, and you may get a a question in your university examination also then the concept of floating point and iterable standard for the floating point number so these are all the topics i'll be covering in unit number 2 after the completion of unit number 2 students will be able to analyze the design of arithmetic and logical unit understanding of fixed point and floating point arithmetic operations unit 3 is about the control unit here i will talk about the instruction how many types of instructions are there what is the format how to explain the instruction cycle and sub cycle what do you mean by fetch operation what do you mean by executing micro operations 
here a concept of pipelining that is commonly used even in the case of the microprocessor microcontroller the concept of pipelining is commonly used so you have to understand very systematically over here then i'll tell you what is hardware control what is microprogram control what is the difference between these two and the concept of horizontal and vertical microprogramming so these are the topics for unit number 3 and the course outcome is implementation of control unit techniques and the concept of pipelining unit 4 that is about the memory what is memory what is the basic concept what is memory hierarchy the different types of memories like ram rom cache memory auxiliary memory virtual memory its their implementations I'll also explain about the two-dimensional memory organization and 2.5D memory organization. So all of these things related to the memory I'll discuss in unit number four. The course outcome is understanding the hierarchical memory system, cache memory, and the virtual memory. Unit number five, which is the last unit, and it is about the input-output. means you have to study about the peripherals devices io interface input output ports what is interrupt how many types of interrupts are there what do you understand by hardware interrupts so all of these things along with that the different modes of data transfer data can be transferred in programmed io mode data can be transferred in interrupt initiated io mode or direct memory access that is dma dma is also a very important topic so along with that i'll be talking about the serial communication means you have to understand what is synchronous communication what is asynchronous communication and some standard communication interfaces so this is about the unit number 5 which is the last unit and the course outcome for this unit is understanding the different ways of communicating with io devices and standard io interfaces so this is all about the complete content some of the textbooks i have listed out over here you can refer when you have to study the computer organization and architecture you can refer morris mano you can refer jp hayes william stellings all of these books are very good the content given in a very systematic in a very precise manner even the language is also very easy thank you so much for watching this video and keep watching the upcoming videos also once again thank you so much